In this video, I'm reviewing the new Widex Moment hearing aid. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Widex has improved upon its Evoke hearing aid platform that pioneered the use of machine learning to improve your hearing with the release of the new Moment line of devices. This new platform is designed to help you hear in the moment, live in the moment, and be in the moment. Aside from all the terrible puns that you can come up with this new name, what does the Moment have to offer that you couldn't get from the Evoke hearing aids that happened to be revolutionary when they were just released two years ago? Well, I'll get into all the new things, but first let's jump into the form factors. The moment comes in a variety of different form factors. You have a completely in the canal, all the way up to a size 312 battery that is a receiver in the canal. But perhaps the most exciting thing when it comes to these form factors for the moment devices is that they finally got rid of Z-Power batteries, which are those silver zinc rechargeable batteries that had horrible reliability, and stepped up to lithium batteries with their new MRIC RD. Having a lithium rechargeable battery now brings Widex on par with other rechargeable hearing aid brands, which is huge because rechargeable is starting to take over the market due to the added convenience and ease of use for individuals with poor finger dexterity. The new rechargeable Widex Moment is the smallest rechargeable hearing aid from all of the major manufacturers currently on the market, but it has limited battery capacity at only 16 to 20 hours of use, depending on how much you stream, on a full four hour charge. I'm not exactly a huge fan of the charger for these devices. First and foremost, you have to have it plugged in to a power outlet. You can't store charges inside of this unit. On top of that, you can't use any kind of desiccant at all. It basically just sits out in the open air. So if you happen to live in humid climates, if you happen to sweat a lot, there is nothing, no desiccants or anything like that to pull moisture out of these devices. It also doesn't have a lid. Sometimes you need to be able to take the hearing aids out, put them in the charger, put the lid on and actually go somewhere or do something. You don't have that ability with this particular charger. It does, however, offer very easy insertion and removal of the hearing aids. There are no battery contacts on this. So when you pop them in, it just has a little magnet that kind of sucks them into place and it's really nice. So if you have poor finger dexterity, weak fingers, arthritis, whatever the case may be, it is super simple to just pull these out and slide them back in the charger. As far as the redesign of the rechargeable hearing aids, they did a significantly better job of styling them in my opinion. They are much sleeker to look at and they just don't have that boxy feeling that Widex is known for. Now, that's for the rechargeable version. They've made the rechargeable more sleek. They have not made their size 312 behind the ear hearing aid more sleek. That one still looks really boxy. If you're into it, that's cool just not really my style. Now let me go ahead and put this one in to give you an idea of what it actually looks like when it's on my ear. Uh, definitely small for a rechargeable hearing aid, which is really nice. This is what it looks like in front. Uh, you can probably not tell, I can't see it in my viewfinder right now. When I turn to the side, that's what it looks like. They do have a variety of different colors for these devices now. They've added some additional ones and I'll go ahead and put an overlay up of that right now. As you can see, they have a variety of different colors. They have four new colors to help blend to either hair color or skin color much better. And they do have some fun colors as well. So if you're someone who likes to make a fashion statement with a little splash of color, you have a couple options there as well. When it comes to connectivity, the Widex Moment is still primarily made for the iPhone. So if you want to get the full functionality out of these devices from a streaming perspective and stream phone calls and other audio into your devices, you're definitely going to want to have an iPhone for these. Now that being said, they are expected to make these compatible with other Bluetooth devices like Android devices. In fact, right now there are a variety of other manufacturers that have been able to use the Asha Bluetooth protocol that was just developed in order to make a connection between a made for iPhone hearing aid and an Android device. And Widex is supposed to be launching this with a future firmware update, but that is still not available yet. That being said, at this moment right now, 
Yeah, that's right. I said moment. At this moment right now, you can actually use a streamer to connect these devices with an Android phone if you have an Android phone and you don't want to switch over to Apple. But I want to be really clear here that this is only for the behind the ear versions of these devices and it doesn't include the size 10 battery version. That's the really small version of the behind the ear device. The other custom devices, you can't stream direct. So you have to use some kind of intermediary device or use an entirely different app that doesn't have all the full features of what Moment can offer. Now each model of these comes in four different tier levels. You have top tier, second tier, third tier, and fourth tier. So it's the 440, the 330, the 220, and the 110. The important thing to keep in mind here is that anytime you drop down in a tech level, you still keep some of the main core features, but you get rid of some other features and customizations. So when you go from 440 down to 330, you're going to be taking things away from your hearing care professional that they can use to optimize the performance of your devices. Now, it may not matter for you, and if you're someone who's trying to save a little bit of extra money, going down in a tier level can make some sense. But if you're looking for the absolute highest level of performance possible, you want to stay in the highest tier that you can afford. Just like the Evoke platform, the new Moment platform also allows you to use the SoundSense Learn feature. SoundSense Learn is basically the machine learning feature of these devices. It allows you to customize your sound with A-B comparisons while you are in the environment that you're trying to optimize. You can then use the power of machine learning to help optimize the sound quality of your devices in the real world. And of course, you get all the same great features inside of the Moment app, which gives you the ability to change programs, make volume adjustments, make equalizer adjustments, just like you could with the Evoke devices. However, perhaps the biggest change of this Moment platform over the Evoke platform is the zero delay digital sound processing. Using what WideX is calling a pure sound program, you can speed up the digital sound processing to reduce the delay of this processing down to 0.5 milliseconds. So yes, as you can tell, it is not zero delay. Zero delay is a marketing term. If you had zero delay, you'd have zero millisecond delay in that signal processing. But it is still a really, really quick signal processing that just doesn't have the same kind of ring to it. Now, to give you some kind of a comparison, the Evoke platform had their signal processing down to 2.5 milliseconds. So why do we care at all? Well, there's something called the comb filter effect, which is when natural sound and amplified sound combine in the ear canal and create artifact. The bigger the delay, the bigger the artifact, and it may cause the perception of distortion to the hearing aid wearer. You have to remember, if you have an open fit hearing aid, meaning you have a open dome or somewhat of a vented dome, that there is some natural sound going in through your ear canal and then some sound being processed through the hearing aid. And the whole idea here is that you want to have those sounds lined up as close as you possibly can so you don't get any of this distortive effect. Now there is general consensus that anything less than a 10 millisecond delay is something that is imperceptible to a human being. That being said, it can't hurt to go lower in terms of a millisecond delay. In fact, you might even notice it as better sound quality. When I did a blind A-B comparison between the classic Universal program and the new Pure Sound program, I actually preferred the Pure Sound program. This Pure Sound program that I'm talking about really acts like a Universal program, meaning it still shifts you between different sound classes. So when you go into a different environment, the hearing aids identify that environment and put you into program settings that are ideal in that particular environment. And this is really nice because it lets you be a little bit more hands-free with your hearing aids and you just kind to let them take the driver's wheel. So the next natural question is, okay, if this pure sound program is better than the classic universal program, why do they still offer the classic universal program inside of the programming software? Well, the answer to that is, is that the pure sound program is really only intended for individuals with a mild to moderate hearing loss. If you have anything more severe than a mild to moderate hearing loss, then you're starting to close up the ear canal more with the dome that goes inside of your ear. And when you don't have any natural sound coming in through your ear canal, you don't have to care about the difference in delay time with the process sound versus the natural sound. On top of that, if the sound is amplified significantly, it removes the comb filter effect. So you don't actually have to worry about it if you're someone who has a little bit more severe of a hearing loss. 
All right, let's move on from the discussion of zero delay and the Pure Sound program and talk a little bit more about a new feature that they have as well called True Acoustics. Now, True Acoustics basically takes into account vent effects for different types of rubber domes. So if you have an open dome or you have a semi-vented dome or you have a double dome, like a completely closed dome, there are different vent effects that come into play when it comes to programming. Now, based on what I can tell, this feature is somewhat irrelevant if you go to a hearing care professional who uses real ear measurement. Now, if you're an individual who does not go to someone who has real ear measurement, and I don't know why you would, but let's say that you did, it probably would help to have this true acoustics inside of the software because it could better estimate what the amount of gain is that you should be requiring at different frequency ranges, depending on the type of dome that you have. You just have to make sure that your hearing care provider actually selects the proper dome in the programming software so you actually get the benefit of true acoustics. And the last thing that I will mention is the remote programming feature. As of this recording, we're kind of on the tail end of the coronavirus pandemic, and I have been doing a ton of remote programming over the last month and a half. The ability to tap directly into your hearing aids when I'm in my office and you're in the comfort of your own home allows me to still provide high level care and programming and basically diagnostic checks of your devices when you don't even have to come into my office. And this is really nice, especially right now during the coronavirus pandemic, but it's really nice for individuals who cannot make it into their hearing care provider's office to receive that in-person care. There are some pros and cons when it comes to Widex's remote care platform. Some of the pros are that you can tap into basically any one of their hearing aids. You can go back, I think, like four or five generations of devices and still be able to use remote care programming for them. That's something that you can't really do with other hearing aid manufacturers. The other thing is, is that you can do a variety of different form factors. So not only the behind the ear models, but you can go and program the in the ear models as well. The only one that you can't is the micro CIC, but other than that, you can tap into almost every single hearing aid that Widex has been offering for the last couple of years. In terms of what I don't like is this neck loop. So you have to have this Widex Remote Link neck loop at home to wear around your neck or to put around the hearing aids so your hearing care provider can tap into the hearing aids. Now, I can't send these home with every single one of my patients. So it turns into this situation of how many of these do I send out to patients? Is it only something that I send out when they need it? Is it something that they think they're gonna need so they purchase one? Logistically, it basically becomes a nightmare when you have to deal with this device. But this is the device that allows us to tap in to all of those different models of hearing aids. At the end of the day, the Widex Moment hearing aids would be an excellent option for basically anybody with any type of hearing loss. You don't have to have just a mild to moderate hearing loss. You can have all the way up to a severe hearing loss and still get significant benefit with these devices, even if you don't use pure sound. That being said, are these devices significantly better than the Evoke line of devices if you currently wear the Evoke line of devices? And I would say probably not unless you have a mild to moderate hearing loss. If you have a mild to moderate hearing loss, from what I can tell of these devices, the Pure Sound program is the difference maker compared to the Evoke line. So if you're in that mild to moderate range, it definitely makes sense to consider. And if you are looking for some great hearing aids with a ton of cool features, you should definitely put the Widex Moment hearing aids on your list of devices to consider. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you wanna see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.